A king has his reign, and then he dies. Big things have small beginnings. This is weird. What are the odds of finding human vegetation this far from Earth? Who planted it? You hear that? What? Nothing. No birds. No animals. Nothing. A. D. N. It's headphones nailed. What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my final review for the current slate of films in the Alien franchise, and in this case it's going to be the prequel films Prometheus and Alien Covenant. So I originally didn't really want to review these films with the rest of the films because from what I had heard, they it wasn't really a matter of being as good as the originals, but it kind of was more of, they're kind of set outside of the original set of films so you're not really you're not going to get the original cast of characters they're not necessarily going to directly impact the the events that we know of but it's setting up the origin origin story of the xenomorph and the uh, universe as a whole and that sort of thing so I, I watch them now just to be a completionist and see how they kind of hold up and see if they do or don't really fit in with the race, rest of the Alien films. So as far as origin stories go, I want to say that they were maybe about 75% of the way there. We get a bit of the origin as far in the form of, in the form of what feels like teasers as far as um, how the Xenomorphs were created by people. The um, the human explorers are calling the engineers so I guess they were they came down with some sort of plague or maybe they came they kind of came up with some sort of scientific discovery that went wrong that messed with their molecular structure to create the xenomorph and they ultimately could not control it which seems like a good story and I kind of wanted more of that and more of a discovery so um, Prometheus started that well enough but I kind of wanted alien covenant and whatever the potential um, third film in the trilogy of these prequels to be to um, develop that or maybe have an actual society of these engineers to um, talk to so uh, kind of set up the a whole origin story where maybe the people who have created the xenomorph were maybe part of a larger universe of these engineers and the ones that had created the xenomorphs were on a planet of their own or they were sent off as a means of containing the threat and their, the home world was um, kept safely hidden away and they decided to stay um, hidden away on their own just because they didn't, for whatever reason, it doesn't necessarily have to be that they were hiding themselves away, they could have been kind of like the um, some of the alien races in Stargate where they don't find humans worthy of their knowledge just yet or something along those lines and that could potentially have been developed in Alien Covenant and whatever if they do make the third film in the trilogy of films but as far as Alien Covenant goes it focused more on um, David I want to say David I forget which one was which as far as David or the new model that was on the Covenant um, creating his own variant of the uh, human xenomorph hybrid um, on his ho own based on the knowledge he saw they found on the um, ship that they found it during the events of Prometheus and um, as they crash or as he crash landed with Dr. Shaw so that all seems like it could have been okay or they or and it could have been emerging with the ship that they found when they crash landed on that random planet but ultimately what Covenant did or feels like Covenant did more was to continue the trend that we have humans that are working with Wayland Corp that are answering some sort of distress call and they they ultimately land on a random planet and find another planet with xenomorphs on it which to me feels like a lost opportunity for the prequels where they could have it could have been a setup for uh, finding more planets with that the engineers had um, developed their civilization on where they could have been part of a larger universe as a whole like we saw at the beginning of Prometheus where 
the engineers seeded their DNA on Earth to start jumpstart the human race. So I kind of wanted more of that where we leave Prometheus alone, but then Covenant deals with the uh, finding of the ship that they land, where David and um, Doctor Shaw landed on, and we learn that he or he learns and he tells the people of the Covenant about this race of engineers as the origins of the human race, but ultimately their empire fell because of um, their creation of the xenomorph. So they um, went off to hide in a random part of the galaxy where they could protect the race and grow and develop and rethink their scientific en endeavors, which could then set up a third film where Waylon Corp sets out to find the um, this group of engineers and have that lead into the freighter or the whole storyline with the first alien film, I guess. Something along those lines where the prequel set up a whole, the whole origin of the engineers and build upon that and to kind of develop the whole xenomorph idea and they could and because David has already learned how to speak the language of the engineers he um and then the ships have the um, cryogenic freezing tubes to for long haul transport it can be set up where they do find the uh, planet of the engineers and um they don't necessarily have to um make it back or um, go back to the human race or earth or anything like that they could ultimately stay with the engineers because they don't let anybody leave but at least we get the origin of the um or we get the to settle the idea behind the xenomorphs that leave it as its own self-contained trilogy but that can lead us directly into um the original alien franchise or the original alien films to show that uh, because of because the engineers gave up on their universe and they have all these down ships and their the information that they have to date is that humans don't have the ability for interstellar travel they know or at the time they think that um the xenomorphs are un, are going to be unable to break free out of their various planets that they're on so like on the first alien in the first alien film um if they didn't if the people or if the crew of um, that ship didn't land then they would have been left alone um, I think same thing with and I'm drawing a blank on alien I think it's a well alien thing at three was I think the prison planet and four was the clone of Ripley but ultimately if they don't let the xenomorphs out of whatever um, planet that they're in or frozen cryostasis or whatever form they're in then none of these events would happen so um, that this could potentially ultimately set up a, a sequel trilogy of films um, out after Alien 4 um, where the engineers come back to the universe or send you know a crew back with the Covenant or whatever descendants of the, that crew um, you know years later to um, fix their problem get rid of help them get rid of the xenomorph or send the humans back with a way to defeat the xenomorphs um, and this could potentially even take place between alien 3 and 4 where the key to the to defeating the xenomorphs is given to the humans but then Wayland Corp uses that to um, clone Ripley and um, create their own you know xenomorph hybrid and clones of xenomorphs and all of that so um kind of abusing the generosity of the engineers so overall that's kind of where i land with the with prometheus, prometheus and alien covenant so i guess at this point it depends on how if they ever do make the third and tril the trilogy of prequel films um i think it was scheduled or slated to be made but it's kind of up in the air probably partly due to covid but part also Probably because it's hard to get a storyline set up, but for me, from my point of view, after all these years watching these films now, I think since they're kind of retroactively filling in all the stories and various elements of the engineers and the xenomorphs, um, I think going back to find to finishing this uh, creation of the xenomorphs by the engineers and setting up their potential intergalactic. Um, empire or something along those lines would help um 
complete that storyline and especially since they've they have done multiple generations of the storyline um having the crew of the covenant be living with the engineers and then coming back to return to earth um as a setup between aliens three and four would kind of fix all of that so the third film in this prequel would kind of be a two-parter um I don't think it would affect the the. Um, I don't think it would affect Alien, Aliens, and Alien Three. Be mostly because um, with Alien being uh, dealing with the freighter that lands and then put him on their return trip back and not necessarily having to know about the Xenomorphs would make sense. Um, aliens dealing with. Um, I want to say Ripley being picked up by the other ship and dealing with that and then the third one being on the prison planet um would could be left alone just because um because they don't have the information about the xenomorphs and wayland corp isn't necessarily sharing that information would not affect that storyline so to me that seems like that's kind of what would work um and as a bit of caveat i'm going into this not having read any of the other media or comics or anything like that i'm going based on only what we see in the films so um this potentially could have already been resolved in some way but maybe wasn't presented or all the story arcs weren't presented well so it's kind of like i guess i want to say kind of like the resident evil films if you're gonna um mess with what we mess with established media in you know video games and comic books and things like that then build a universe that's consistent and fills in all that information over time and potentially can you can compare it kind of like the fast and the furious films where they fill in information the various information over the course of the film so sim- just like that do the same thing here with these films so in the in the you know quote unquote final film in the aliens franchise or at least this third in the trilogy of prequels fill in the, fill in the last of the information about the engineers and that and then send the people back and that will that should potentially fill in you know 90 percent of the details of course there's going to be various things as far as because they're retroactively filling in the information that it would you're going to miss things or there's going to be things that don't necessarily make sense but because it's incomplete information you have freighters that are traveling through space that don't have all the information and wayland corp doesn't share all that information with everybody that it can theoretically make sense that um other people would know because they don't know about it and the um androids don't share information because they work for wayland corp and they've been programmed to not share that information so that's all there is for this particular review so um that's so if you have any feedback questions comments concerns something i missed um in other information that can potentially help the theory or make the um the films a little bit better in your eyes or my eyes or why you you think the films don't necessarily hold up in all of this um time travel or story time travel business going back and forth uh you can find me on twitter at patel and zero one you can comment on this post and get access to bonus content and all of that other good stuff on the patreon at patreon.com slash patel n zero one um and the website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, um, all ways to support the show besides just the Patreon and all of that good stuff. Um, and of course, you got there is a post about a couple of, of the next couple of films as a part of um, the next uh, films to review, so look out for those. Um, but before I get to those, I'm going to be doing a bonus review for everybody just because um, of a recent film, film that I watched and I decided to... Um, rewatch some related films and do a review i realized that i didn't um actually do that review and i didn't i was doing a, a quick search of past episodes and i didn't see that i even did a full review over the past couple of years so i'm gonna correct that and then we'll get into the uh regularly scheduled um reviews of films so that's all there is for this particular episode thanks for tuning in and being a supporter and subscriber to the show and until next time 